Hello, it's Andrea from Prairie Sky Paper Crafts here today with a tip leading up to Earth Day. Um, I needed something to stop my ink pads from shifting around on my desk. Um, and I've got a little shelf um, that has a lip and I needed something so that I could put my ink pads into it, but it, they wouldn't push back because nothing drives me crazier than things that are not lined up. Some things, ink pads and stamp sets in particular. Um, so I'm going to show you a way that you can repurpose the back of the 12 by 12 designer series paper um, that comes in your package. Now I've already got it cut and scored to where I want. So I uh, took three quarters of an inch off of one of the horizontal sides and three quarters of an inch off of one of the vertical sides. And then I scored it all the way around at three and three quarters of an inch. So to get this started, I'm just gonna burnish the sides. Now you don't need to be too terribly picky about having super sharp corners um, because we're actually gonna cut it to create the box. So if you are new to my YouTube channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below. You'll be notified every single time a brand new video comes up. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and cut this up to this score line, this one to there, and the same here. So we're going to have four cuts with our scissors. So I love repurposing um, where I can in my craft room and creating things out of what might ordinarily go into the garbage or into the recycling bin. Um, so for this one, I'm also going to be using the Tombow Multi Glue, just because I want it to be a little bit sturdier, um, and I find that this really works well. Um, the Tombow Glue has two tips. It's got a fine tip, and it's got, it's not only a handy base to stand it up, it's got a thick tip. Now this really reminds me of the yellow school glue when I was a kid. Um, it's nostalgia for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze a little bit of the glue and I'm gonna focus mostly, whoops, on the edges. Now you don't need a ton because it is super, super, super sticky. Um, I'm gonna spread it out a little bit and I'm gonna do the same on this side. It doesn't matter if you get too terribly close to the edge because it's going to be hidden. There we go, spread it out. I also like this because it gives you um, a little bit more wiggle room when you're positioning things. All right, that should be good. And I'm just gonna leave the cap off. Um, so what I'm gonna do is bring in one of the sides and then, come on, bring this one up and position it and just hold it for a second or two. If you have um, clips that are in your craft room, you can use that as well to hold it into position. And I'm gonna use this. I got these um, little clothespins ages and ages ago. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit and then we're gonna do the other side. Now to give it some stability, so the centerpiece is first and then one of our, um, the two, the two center pieces came up and I wrapped these two pieces to the inside to give it more stability. I'm gonna wrap these two to the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue here. Oops. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Now I've already got a couple um, that I finished. So I'm gonna show you how I decorated it. And then also I'm gonna give you a tip for your Stampin' Up! ink pads. Because this one, um, I've done a variation of it for a while for labeling, but I had a brainwave the other day. Oh, die cut pieces. And this way it's not going to matter how you position your ink pads because you're gonna know exactly what color you're grabbing every single time. 
Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside to dry. Now I've already got one done. You can put in seven ink pads into each one um, and then just line them up and organize them to however makes your heart happy. Um, I am gonna decorate this one first. So I've got a piece of designer series paper that is in the current mini catalog that goes um, until June. So I'm just gonna glue, not terribly fancy. Usually I would use my Stampin' Adhesive, but I've got the glue open, so I'll just go ahead and use that today. I don't know, what kind of adhesive do you prefer to use? Do you go for the Stampin' Adhesive, which are um, the Stampin' Seal, I should say, which is a double-sided tape, or do you prefer liquid? For me, it depends on what I'm doing. 3D projects, I usually go for the liquid. And adhesive for anything that's flat, like cards or scrapbook pages or whatever. All right, so I've got this on. I'm gonna do up my glue. Now, one of the tips that I have too with the Tombow glue um, is put it whichever way you are going to use it most. So if you're gonna use it fine tip, store it fine tip side down. If you're gonna do it with the wider tip, store it wider tip down, then that way it's all ready to go and you don't need to wait around for it. So I'm gonna take my designer series paper, which I've already cut to three quarters of an inch wide by 12 inches. And I left it at the 12 because I wanted it um, to be long enough that I could kind of tuck it around the bottom. So you're just gonna simply wrap it and then tuck the bottom down. And then if you wanted to, you can put another piece of cardstock or designer series paper on it just to hold it. Um, but I'm gonna run another bead of glue underneath. So there you go, there's your ink pad holder made from recycled material. Um, you can use it for pens, you can use it for whatever your heart desires, and you can do anything with it. I've made post-it note holders, pen holders. It's a really great way to use up something, like I said, that might ordinarily end up in the recycling bin. So I'm gonna show you now my favorite tip for labeling. So let's pick this one, it's got all of the labels still on the bottom. So when you get your Stampin' Up! ink pads, they have labels on the back. English, French, German, and Japanese, I believe. Um, plus there's one blank one. So what I normally do is I'll take off, um, I have a wall hanger, so I usually store it like this. So I'll put the English on this side. So I'm just gonna go and pull that one up, if it'll come. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna take the Blackberry Bliss label off and stick it onto the side. Now, with the holder that I just made, I'm gonna want it forward facing. So I don't really speak French that well. Um, I mean, I understand more than I can speak, but the color is still on it. So you can see the color that you have. And then I'm just gonna keep going with all of the other colors all the way around my ink pad. And then that way, it really doesn't matter which way your ink pad is positioned on your desk, which way you have it in your storage spot, you'll be able to see the color from every single angle. Um, if you wanted to, you could either leave this label on the back the way that it was, um, but I'm just gonna stick this one here so that it doesn't matter which way, if you've got it um, on a vertical thing and it's hanging over the edge, you can also see the color from underneath. So that's how you can use the labels as well that come onto your Stampin' Up! ink pad. If you have any questions, comments, or a different way to use your storage solutions, please comment below and let me know. Um, I've also recently received 
my copy of the 2021 to 22 Stampin' Up! catalog. So if you're in Canada and would like a copy and you don't currently have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, just hit the link below. That will take you um, to a spot where you can request a catalog. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fabulous day. Happy crafting!